Welcome back to Swift Reactions. Today we're going to be doing Sabrina Carpenter's Because I Liked a Boy. This is the official video. So this song's a little bit of a clapback to Olivia Rodrigo's Sour album that she copped a lot of crap about. I said I wanted some oh, looks pretty. And you said you knew oh, a well. guy You showed up with a boombox And stars in your eyes Who knew cuddling on trampolines Could be so reckless We bonded over black-eyed peas And complicated exes We fell so deeply into it it was all so innocent Now I'm a homewrecker, I'm a slut I got death threats filling up semi-trucks Tell me who I am, guess I don't have a choice All because oh, wow. I like I'm the hot topic on your tongue I'm a rebound getting around stealing from the young Tell me who I am, guess I don't Oh, because she liked boy. Ooh, lots of costumes. Oh, I like Everything's derailing. Was only trying to hold you close while your heart was failing. It's not internet illusion, just two kids going through it. You said I'm too late to be your first love. Be your so that's the line and the look on her face said i'm too late to be your first love but i'll always be your favorite god you said i'm too late to be your first love but i'll always be your favorite and that look that look but is I'll like always be your look kill i would kill you with this look See, this goes back to, in Olivia Rodrigo's album Sour, she did a song called Your Favourite Crime. I hope I was your favourite crime. If you don't know, Olivia was allegedly in a relationship with Joshua Bassett, I think it was. Um, according to Olivia's album, it seems like they broke up. He'd been hanging out with Sabrina. Olivia must have been a little bit suspicious when you listen to the album and... Him and Sabrina ended up together soon after. In Your Favourite Crime, Olivia says, I hope I was your favourite crime. As in, I hope that I was your favourite, I'm assuming, over Sabrina. And then in this, Sabrina comes back with, what is it? I know I'm too late to be your first love, but I'll always be your favourite. Now, if he has actually said that to her, who knows? But the whole point of writing these albums, I feel like, is so that the other person hears it. And, you know, she's trying to tell Olivia, you may have thought you were the favourite, but I assure you, I was the favourite. So, ah, oh, that look, ah, oh, that was so well done. And the whole circus theme, as I said, it must have felt like a circus. It really must have felt like a circus, this whole situation. Uh, yeah, the theme is perfect. She looks gorgeous. I love this film clip. I wonder who directed this. No, I'm a home, girl, I'm a slut. I got, I got death threats. Death I'm sure that's a slight exaggeration, but even one day she gets to me. I'm the hot topic on your tone, yeah, she certainly was the hot topic on the news. And the news doesn't sell. From Sabrina's point of view, it's just all because I like the boy. This situation's always reminded me of the trilogy that Taylor did in folklore. You know, the other woman was just someone you want to love to. Dating boys with exes. 
No, I wouldn't recommend it. What a, what a line. What a filled, filled line. There is so much gravity in that line. And when everything went down, we had already broken up. Imagine all this happening to you. You're not even with someone else. Just because we broke up with someone in there. That's it. And then she shuts the computer from the email that she can't send. Oh, I do like that theme throughout the whole album, actually. I've seen that in a couple of the film clips. Where she closes the laptop and it's, yeah, it's the email that she can't send. Another one that she's written and can't send. And then she puts it on her album. Wow. Oh, I love that. I thought that was one of the best clapbacks I've ever seen. Um... It wasn't vindictive in any way, it was just explaining her side of the story and brilliantly done. I, I think she's a fairly light-hearted person, Sabrina, but I think this situation has affected her a lot. I mean, for anybody to get a death threat for any reason would be horrific. So if the sentiment changed towards you online and in public, that would be a hard thing to take, I think, and I can understand her point of view. Um, I love hearing all this clapback between them in their albums and now in their film clips. Uh, can't wait to see more. Let me know what you want to see next. Thanks for joining me, guys. Bye.